Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing my first fall makeup tutorial. I am so excited for fall. Give this video a thumbs up if you are as excited for fall as I am because your girl is super excited and I really like this look that I created. I wanted to do something kind of dark and vampy to start off with and then we can get into more neutral looks if that's something that you guys want as well. This is definitely only the first of the many fall looks that I have coming for you guys and this is actually the first look that I did create with my new camera so let me know if you see a difference in the quality. Let me know down below in the comments. Hopefully you guys do. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Alrighty you guys, so for the eyes, I'm going in with the brand new Urban Decay Ultimate Naked Basics Palette. And I'm first going in with the color Nudie and just applying this to my crease and upper crease area as a neutral blending color because we are going to go in with darker colors. Then to deepen that up, I'm going in with Faith. This is just like a medium brown shade. It is on the cooler side, so I wanted to warm it up a little bit, so I'm going to go in with Extra Bitter. This is my favorite shade in the palette. It's so, so beautiful, and I'm just deepening and warming up the crease with this. I wanted to do it very smoky. Then to highlight, I'm going in with the shade Blow and just highlighting beneath my brow bone. Now I'm going to spritz my brush with Fix Plus and I'm going to jump into the Graveyard Girl palette. I'm using the shade Sassy Bun and I'm applying this all over my lids. The Fix Plus just really makes it so, so pigmented. I love it. And then I'm going in with Sippy Sippy from that same Swamp Queen palette and just deepening up the crease even more to really smoke it out. This is a beautiful dark brown shade with gold shimmer. Now for my winged liner, I'm going in with my NYC liquid liner as per usual, and I'm just creating my wing. And then after concentrating so hard on creating that wing, I rewarded myself with a little dance party, you know, just a little sing-along by myself. Comment down below if you guys can figure out what song I am singing. But now, back to business. I'm going to go in with the Taylor Lashes from Icon. I absolutely love these. They're amazing. Then to smoke out the lower lash line, I'm going back in with the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and the shade Faith just to smoke it out. And then to really highlight my inner corner, I'm going in with Gator Wings from the Tarte Swamp Queen palette. I'm sorry I'm like switching back and forth. Then going in with the edgiest mascara from the Estee Edit as usual as my mascara just to coat my lashes. Then to bronze up the skin I'm going with my favorite bronzer of the moment which is the Too Faced Beach Bunny bronzer and just bronzing up my skin. I'm using the Mojo Beauty F1 brush. I love that for bronzing. Then for blush I'm going in with a new blush from Tarte. It is called Sensual. Then to contour going in with Benefits Hoola as per usual. You guys have seen me do this like a hundred times. And I will link all of the brushes that I use down below as well as all the products if you guys are interested. Next for that highlight I'm going in with my literal Baby, you guys, this is the Ofra Highlight in Rodeo Drive. Look at that glow. Like, literally, I am obsessed with this product. It has been my favorite highlight. Like, ugh. It's just the most beautiful color. It just gives this beautiful pop of shimmer. Ugh. I'm just obsessed with it. I could go on forever, you guys. Then I'm going to line my lips. I wanted to do something kind of dark. So I'm going in with the NYX Retractable Lip Crayon in the shade Plum and just lining my lips. And then to fill them in, I decided to go in with the new Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Lip Cream in the shade Plum Crazy. And I loved this color. It's like the perfect dark red wine plummy color. I don't know. It just reminds me absolutely of fall. So yeah, this is the final look. I hope that you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you have not already, and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video.